Right, let's do some in-betweening. Now, I'll breeze through this and do it quite quickly because now we're already here. There's not really that much more to say. We've covered everything to a basic level. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and I'm going to use the interpolation tool to give me a little bit of an anticipation. There we go. That's fine. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and I'm going to send the whole character forward like that. You notice how the arm's selected, but it's having no impact? That's because only selected has been turned off. Look at how his head is shrinking from there to there. I'm going to just change flip to automatic to see if I get a better result. So I don't. His whole head is flipping around like that. So I'm going to stick to no flip. What I would say is if you don't like the breakdown pose you currently have and you click a second time, you're not going to replace the one that's already there. You're just going to make more and more and more poses. So you do need to come in here and you do need to delete whatever it is you've put in place before you go any further. Right, so my breakdown, um, I should have my onion skin on here really because it'll make it a lot easier. To it's not going to show up because I've got multi-frame switched on. So I'll just turn multi-frame off because I don't really have any need for multi-frame at the moment anyway. I'll just say that my breakdown can favor the pose that he's yeah that he's going towards. So that'll do. Let's give this a play. A remarkable amount of slow in happening there. So let's just go one, two, three, four. That's probably enough to be honest. Let's drag these back over there. There we are. Mm -hmm. Great. Now, a couple of things to note. First of all, I've deliberately done this with even spacing so that I can in between each of these neatly. Had I done a random number like three, I'm never going to be able to put an in between in the middle of these two poses because it's an odd number. So I've chosen an even number so that I can put an in between directly in the middle of two frames. Okay, right, so we have a shrinking head. What should we do about that? I think the best thing to do about that is to just, in this scenario, just select the different bits that you've got. Put your cursor roughly there and scale them up and roughly get his head back to a similar scale to what it was. That's probably the best way to deal with that. Yeah, that looks fine. Um, another way to do that would have been to delete these like that and go to multi-frame select the two frames that you're moving between and very much do the head head from there to there and try to work it out like that instead let's just see if that gives us any different results it's always going to shrink in the middle so you're not really going to achieve anything by doing that the reason I'm bringing that up is because it enables us to just talk about what that will do to the order of the strokes so first of all, let me just do the connecting dots. So that one to that one, this one to this one, the nose to that one, the eyes to that one, and the mouth to that one. Just so Blender knows which direction to go in. Let's do the interpolation. Put that around about there. So as you see, whole thing worked fine. Let's say we were doing one thing only. So if we just put that head back there and say, well, we're not very happy with this ear here. So we'll get rid of that and do that again. So that one, that was the back ear. So this one to there. We do that one now. Look what's happened. Blender has ordered the stroke by default to the front of the stack. And that is going to mess up the next interpolation along. So this one here. If I turn off only selected and press Alt A to deselect everything and do a look at where we are. And that's happened with the ear because I changed the stroke order. Just take that as a warning. I wouldn't go, or you are going to have to do something single like this. Just don't forget to put it right back to the position it was in. And if you're not sure what that position was, return to one of your other frames, select the ear in this case, and use the add-on Niji GP to just see. So that's layer two when we're over here. This one is currently layer zero. So let's just nudge that up to position two by dragging to the left. There we go. Now we'll come over here and we'll do an in-between. Everything's still freaking out because all of the order just got shunted by that ear changing its position. 
So we have a big ordering problem here that we have to worry about. Let's just head back again. As I said, that's currently number 11, which has knocked the order. So it's right on there. Everything else has been bumped up one. It's meant to be number two, but it's not, it's number 11. Normally number 11, by the looks of it, is the back arm. So if I come over here and have a look at this, number 11, we need it to be number two. So I'm taking it back down through the ranks now. There we go, number two. Okay, so just to bring you into what I've been doing, I've basically been going through and checking all of the different strokes so that we can see where they are and what number they are in the uh, arrange order. And that's basically what has happened is when we've deleted the ear, it's knocked everything out of order, which then means the interpolation tool breaks down. So you have to go in there and reorder things. So I'm going to match frame 13 to frame 9's order because frame 9 matches 5 and 1 and I'd rather they were all matching rather than one being the odd one out. And I'm just going to keep going through one by one. So 5, 6 is the ear with this one. 6 is the, is 6 the ear? Let's have a look. 6 is the ear. So 6 and 6 are the same. 2 is the other ear. What's this one? 3. I'm going to just knock that to number 2, which is going to then change the inside leg. So let's just see what number this is. It's number 1. So over here, I'll just knock that down to position 1. Right, so what does that mean about the... Front ear, yep, that's the same. Number 7 is the eye. That's the same. I think we're pretty much there. Yeah, we are. We we are there. Okay, so we got to the, the we got to the bottom of that in the end. I thought it was important just to run through that instead of just glossing over it because it's a very real problem that you do have to be conscious of. But hopefully, what that showed you is if your frame order is correct, then you will get there, and there are ways to make sure your frame order is correct. Now, just to say it, under those circumstances. Normally, I would have deleted this because this one was in a massive mess. I would have just deleted it and made it from scratch <laughs> because I just didn't want to, I wouldn't want to go through all of that mess. I would have just made a new one from scratch. I messed the order up earlier by messing around with the ear, but I didn't have to go through that. I could have just made the frame again. And sometimes that is the right answer is just make the frame again.